Welcome everyone, FarmerCop here. This is gonna be the top 10 mods of the week for all platforms. Again, just a reminder, make sure as you guys are downloading mods, if you like them, make sure you guys are rating them five out of five stars. That does go to help support the modders um, in terms of mod hub. So please make sure you guys are doing that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it this week and see what the top 10 mods are for this last week. All right, for number one this week, we have the handsaw. The handsaw for household chores, price $200 for you guys. This is by Valak, 0.2 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 79 people having rated it. It basically works like a chainsaw. Um, so if I go up to this log here, except the animation and, well, the noise it makes is fantastic. And there we go, we have two logs now, so I love it. This is kind of something unique, I think perfect for roleplay and that sort of thing. So there you guys go, that is the handsaw. All right, for number two, we have the CNH3162 Teraflex Draper Header Pack. This is by Custom Modding, 49.87 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 61 people having rated them. There are a lot of different headers in this pack. So you can see kind of the uh, the air tubes that I have on this one. Gosh, I can't even remember the names of them now. But anyhow, you have the setup I have here, or you can do just standard. Um, and you have different lengths and different ones that have uh, either the kind of built-in header trailers like this one does, or ones that don't. Um, and there's ones for New Holland and for Case. This one here is the Case version. But uh, yeah, a lot of different headers in this pack. So really cool, I think. Uh, and I think a lot of you guys really want to use this. Um, there's nothing necessarily that changes about how they work. Um, it's just kind of something that you can add if you want to be more realistic. Or if you just wanted to get a header pack, this would also work really well for you. So there you guys go. That is the CNH3162 Terraflex Draper Headers Pack by Custom Modding. All right, for number three, we have the Fiat 480. This is by Pepe978. 15.81 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.6 out of five stars, 120 people having rated it. This thing has a starting price of $6,900. It has 35 kilowatts of power, runs at 23 kilometers per hour. Um, it has different uh, license plate configurations as well as exhaust, wheels, um, the weights on the front and the colors. I kind of went with kind of the older Fiat, kind of uh, more faded orange on this one, kind of like a sunburnt orange, which I thought was pretty cool and looked nice on it. So. Uh, there you guys go and i mean as you can see there's a lot of good detail on this tractor perfect little tractor for a small farm and just starting out but there you guys go that is the fiat 480 by pepe 978 great little tractor for you all right for number four we have the old storage shed this is by black sheep modding 5.96 megabytes to download for all platforms currently rated 4.9 out of five stars with 42 people having rated them there are two different sheds in this pack. There's the one you see out here, which is $9,000, $5 a day maintenance, um, and has a width about 10 meters, length about 24 meters. Um, there's one left model and one right model as well. So you can have that wall on the left or the right. That's the one that you see in the, on the left side of the screen right now. So yeah, really cool shed. Um, I think it looks great, honestly. And there's also a $10,000 version of the shed that will hold 550 bales or pallets. So basically it works like a, a, ballot, or, a ballot or bale storage. Excuse me, I can't talk. Uh, also $5 a day for maintenance. Uh, but it looks great, same size, everything like that. Also left and right model of that one. But there you guys go, the old storage shed pack by Black Sheep Modding. Really cool sheds in here. I think a lot of you guys will find pretty useful. So there you go. All right, for number five this week, we have the Cargo XK24. This is by Universe Simu Modding and Nico DU55. 15.92 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.9 out of five stars with 39 people having rated it. This is a cargo trailer, as you can probably imagine. Um, the current configuration you see it out there in is the biggest one, which is 48,670 liter capacity. Um, and you can also have it as a 33,850 liter capacity as well. Um, honestly, it's a really good looking trailer and it holds quite a bit. So. Uh, it's probably perfect for what a lot of you guys are doing on your farms, kind of the medium farm size and everything like that. Even large farms is work great on. Um, and it only costs you $46,365 to buy. So honestly, not super expensive either. Um, and it's really well detailed. So if you wanted a really good detailed trailer um, and a brand that we don't really have a lot of available for. So um, yeah, pretty cool to see that. There you guys go. That's the Cargo XK24 by Universe Save You Modding and Nico DU55. All right, for number six, we have the uh, BM Volvo Snow Gear. This is by North Modding Company, or NMC. It is 4.78 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.9 out of five stars, with 50 people having rated it. Um, there are three things in this pack, which we're gonna take a look at in the store, just so I can kind of show them to you here. So let's go ahead and uh, hop in there. But uh, these guys do work really well with the uh, uh, the Volvo BM loaders. 
um, that we kind of got with the uh, Platinum expansion and stuff like that. So um, not premium, Platinum. So looks they look great, and I'm assuming they're going to work really well as well. So let's go ahead and hop in the store and take a look at everything in this pack. So in this pack, we have the V Snowplow, which you see out in front of you, 3 meter width there, weighs 500 kilograms. And we also have the Snow Bucket. Um, and also, none of these are super expensive to buy. It holds 2,500 liters of, well, everything, but it's specifically designed for snow. Then we have the Dozer Snowplow, 3 meters in width. So you can kind of buy your snow out of the way. But yeah, a lot of good stuff in this pack. So I think a lot of you guys will really enjoy the uh, Volvo Snow Gear for you. So there you guys go. That's the BM Volvo Snow Gear by North Modding Company. All right, for number seven this week, we have the JCB714 by Kenny456. 15.27 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 123 people having rated it. It's a nice little JCB, little kind of dump truck type thing. I love it. It looks great. Um, this thing's $80,000 to buy, is 170 horsepower, max speed of 40 kilometers per hour, and you can adjust the capacity between 9,000 and 30,000 liters. So there's a 9,000 capacity, a 20,000, and then this one is the 30,000. It doesn't change anything really with the bucket. It's just some different, more unrealistic capacities if you wanted to go that route. So I, of course, put it in the 30,000 liter capacity because that just sounded good to me. You also configure the wheels, the beacon lights, back trailer hitch, main color, and the rim color. So. A lot of ways you can kind of customize this to how you want it, but there you guys go. That's the JCB714. All right, for number eight, we have the FarmTech TDK 1500 F C S. This is by Wolfax Modding. It is 22.74 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 50 people having rated it. The pack has two different um, trailers in it. This one is the $22,000 TDK 1500 F with the log crane, which I thought was really cool to see a uh, TD key trailer or farm tech trailer with the kind of log crane on the front. I really like this configuration. I think it looks pretty sweet. And then there's also the TDK 1500 FCS, which is $17,000. And that is just your standard um, kind of uh, trailer. So you can have whatever you want in it, bulk trailer uh, sort of thing. Um, there's a lot of configurations for it. So when you're using the TDK 1500, there's configurations for the capacity, 7,000 to 21,000 liters, uh, color configurations, wheel configurations, accessories, ladder, fender, triangle, uh, grid, decal, and attacher. So a ton of ways you can customize it. But regardless of that, there you guys go. That is the FarmTech TDK 1500 FCS. Moving on to number nine, we have the New Holland 180-55, also by Pepe978, 18.57 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.6 out of five stars, with 99 people having rated it. This thing is gonna cost you $51,000 to buy, it has 132 kilowatts of power, 13 mile per hour max speed, um, and it has a lot of different configurations, or a couple of different configurations with it, I should say. Um, one of the configurations you can adjust is having that rear linkage on it, as well as the front weight. And on the tracks, this is what I think is really cool. The tracks you see right now are road tracks. So they're designed for the road versus the, the field track. So I thought that was kind of a cool configuration to have, but regardless of that, there you guys go. That is the New Holland 180-55. All right, and last but not least, for number 10, we have the Lizard Cow Barns. This is by Mr. Hector. 48.66 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 54 people having rated it. Um, there are several different cow barns in this pack. They all look very similar to this one. We have a basically a small and a big barn, and we have a small and a big barn with a feeding robot. So uh, the small barn's gonna hold 200 cows, the big one's gonna hold 300, and you just have the difference between a feeding robot or not. But honestly, these things look really good. The decoration on them, the detail on them, making them look like they're a little bit worn, um, I think, looks fantastic so i think they're really well done but regardless of that there you guys go that is the lizard cow barns by mr hector really good little little cow barns for you guys and they have actually honestly a really large uh, feed capacity i should mention as well but there you guys go if you guys enjoyed that has been the top 10 mods of this week um if you guys did enjoy please drop a like down below if you haven't already please hit that follow button or subscribe button up on your screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that i may post this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys next week.